guys, I'm Daisy and welcome back to my YouTube channel, Dance Brook. So as you guys can see, I got my diva cut. I don't know if you can tell, but I have so much more volume than I usually do. And I got my hair cut like five days ago at the Diva Curl Salon in New York City. So I just want to tell you guys about my experience, the good, the bad, and then the not so good because there was some gray areas. I did get actual footage of my hair, like the process of them washing, conditioning, drying, and then setting my curls like the way that they do before you leave. So I will show you guys all that. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the actual cut because the person who came to film that footage for me showed up a little bit too late, so I didn't get that part. So I'll walk you guys briefly through that, show you guys the footage, and then I'll give you my opinion. So when I walk into the Diva Curl, I was so excited because I seen all these girls that were sitting in the chairs and they were getting their hair done as they were walking out, and they were looking good. I was like, oh yeah. Yes, girl, yeah, I was loving it. I was like, ooh, look like they just walked straight out of heaven. I was like, yes, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I was like, this is perfect because they're about to hook a sister up. They're going to take me from here to here. I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, when I, I, when I get there, the um, receptionist, he was so kind. He came and he took off my jacket and he gave me this nice little shiny pink robe. I was like, okay. I'm excited, I'm ready, I'm getting my diva cut. I had like a smile from ear to ear, I was like this. But I was so nervous, but you couldn't tell because I was just cheesing away like, yeah, I'm about to look up, come out looking great. So, so when I finally sat down and met my stylist, Tatiana, she was so great, she was like, show me, she wanted to speak about what I wanted with my hair. She said at the end of that I wanted a lot of layers in order to give my hair some body, some actual volume without having to without manipulating it because that was one of my biggest problems. After we spoke about that, Tatiana was confident to begin cutting my hair. So she started cutting it and she literally went curl by curl by curl. And like she would take one curl like this and she would cut it, the, the split ends off. So Tatiana did that and it took her a long time and I felt so bad for her because you know, I have a lot of hair and I got a big old head. So she took at least an hour and 45 minutes just cutting my hair. Like, as Tatiana got done cutting my hair, it's not, I'm gonna show you guys the footage where she's actually washing and conditioning my hair and getting ready to style it for me. So let's get into that. Tatiana just finished washing my hair with the No Poo Decadence Cleanse. And now, as you can see, she's finger detangling each curl with the conditioner Heaven and Hair Intense Moisturizing Treatment because my hair, she said, was really dry and that's why I have so much frizz. She didn't rinse out all the conditioner from my hair. She kept a good amount in and she taught me a cool trick. If you scrunch your hair after you rinse out conditioner and you see white, then you have too much conditioner left in your hair. If you scrunch your hair and you see like a like a skim milk type of color, then you have just the right amount. Now Tatiana is adding a little bit more water to my hair because I'm lacking moisture because I'm not using the right product, she said. And now she's going in with the Ultra Defining Gel by Diva Curl and she's just smoothing it over my hair instead of going curl by curl. And as she's putting it in my hair, she's scrunching to get all the extra water out. Tatiana is now preparing me to sit under the dryer. She's doing this thing where they add clips to the top of your head in no particular order or arrangement to make sure that you have volume at the top of your hair and it's not flat when you get under the dryer. As you can see, she added a bunch of clips, I would say about 12 to the top of my head right before I got under the dryer. So they have this really, really cool dryer that looks like something straight out of outer space. It's kind of like a cone head, uh, Jefferson, Jefferson's type of thing. I never experienced anything like that. All I do is stick a 
regular a regular dryer at the top of it and then it blows down really hard and it gets hot very fast as you can see I look like something from the 31st century after being under the dryer for about I would say 45 minutes of course my hair was not dry so Tatiana had to come in with the diva curl diffuser and blow dryer to finish drying my hair as you can see this is where the problem starts to come in my hair looks a little bit like spaghetti the curls are not as tight as I'm used to and as I prefer I wish I would have took a little bit more grasp and crunched it myself but you'll see the ending you'll see the final results just watch and wait alrighty guys so I just got back from Eva Curl in a true New York City fashion I got a ride There's some things that I'm really not feeling about it, like the straighter areas. My hair is not very usually straight, so I'm a little bit confused. A little bit of a cold head. But nothing I can't get home and handle myself with my little home products to make my hair look like fire and on fleek as it usually does. <laughs> See you look girl. So I hope you guys liked the footage that I was able to show you. I want to quickly talk about my thoughts and my opinion on it. So as you guys can see, when I left the salon, my hair, I don't even know how to describe it. Because I don't want to talk bad about Tatiana or the salon or anything because everybody was so, so, so amazing. Tatiana was just like, so sweet. We was giggling, we was laughing, we were sharing stories, you know, like, I really, really like her. You know, I'm, I'm, I love her, I love her. But I just want to just be honest about what I felt about my hair after. It has nothing to do with Tatiana, um, or the Diva Cross Salon for that matter. I specifically asked, because Tatiana asked, like, do you like your hair elongated or do you like it, um, do you like your hair elongated or do you like it with tight curls? And I was like, girl, I like my hair with tight curls. I like it to be voluminous and ba boom, ba bam, ba boom. She's like, okay, I can do that for you. I was like, thank you, Tatiana girl. So after that, when I got my hair done, I mean, it just looked like I had some stringy spaghetti on my hair, just real thick, thick pieces. I was not happy. So I wasn't happy about the elongated part. I already. And I also wasn't happy about the cone head at the top of my head. I feel like I had like a cone head. And that just might be the way that my own hair dries because some girls, they did the same exact method to and they looked perfectly fine. You know, I was a little bit disappointed about that. Um, I was a little bit disappointed. So when I was walking home, I was like, oh, it's okay because when I get to, when I get home, I'm just going to add my own little pizzazz to it and I'm going to just put, I'm just going to put these curls right, right back to the way that I want, but that didn't work. So I had to wait four days, which is why I'm actually showing you guys this video now because I had to wash my hair and redo it, but I don't like to wash my hair consecutive days in a row, so I had to wait with that spaghetti head for a few days. So then when I was able to do it, I was able to get the volume and the tight curls that I wanted, so I was very, very, very excited. Um, I will say... Even though I left and my curls were exactly as I wanted, the cut alone was worth the money. So I have so much more volume than I ever had before. I don't have to manipulate it. My curls feel a lot more. My curls feel a lot more healthier. They're ready to go for the summer. So yeah, I really, really love that aspect. I didn't love the aspect of the styling part of my hair. I think the problem was is. As Tatiana was deep finger detangling my hair, she finger detangled all my hair. She um, was leaving conditioner in and she didn't take it all out. So I think the conditioner was really heavy and so that weighed down my curls. The cut ended up being like $140 plus a $20 tip. So it was a lot of money in my opinion for a haircut and then a style that I didn't like. But I would definitely go again for the haircut. I would go a hundred times full just to get the haircut. My hair looks ten times better and it feels a lot healthier. They did tell me that I need to come in um, every four to six months and I was thinking in my head like no I'm not gonna do that. I get my hair cut once a year that seems to work for me and at that price that's a once a year cut anyways. I just want to say if you guys like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you didn't like this video give it a thumbs up anyways and make sure if you haven't already subscribe at the subscribe 
and make sure what am I saying? And make sure if you haven't already, you subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at dmendo. It's where I give all my up to date information on my new videos. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.